Hello everyone. So today I wanted to do a little tutorial and review on the Bobbi Brown Infrared Palette. Um, I haven't tried this out yet. I have given it some swatches in a previous video in my Sephora haul. If you want to check that out, I will link that down below. But I've never tried anything from Bobbi Brown and I've been really interested in trying out the shadows. I thought that this palette was absolutely gorgeous. I love the, you know, red and brown tones in here with the golds as well. It's just my kind of colors, I guess. This palette is basically what I absolutely love in palettes. So I was super excited to pick it up during the Sephora VIB sale. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm super excited to try it out for you guys today and give a little review on how I think it is. Hopefully if you've thought about picking it up that this video helps you determine whether to get it or not. Also one more thing before we get started, I've kind of toyed with the idea of doing little mini tutorials, I guess, doing a series of those with different palettes and kind of doing like inspiration for them. I'm not sure if it's something that people watch or if people prefer, you know, talk through tutorials or if just, you know, doing a tutorial and kind of like speeding it up and setting it to music. That way it's only like three to four minutes long. If you guys would like that or not, let me know in the comments down below if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in. I thought that it would just be, I don't know, a fun way to do a lot of looks and make it so that those videos aren't super long. So I could do a lot of holiday looks and things like that. But just let me know in the comments below if you prefer talk through tutorials or if you like I don't know, sped up, quick, you know, three to four minute tutorials. So before we get started, if you guys are new, hey, my name's Liz, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also ring that notification bell so you guys are notified for all my future videos. And if you guys wanna see the look that I create with the Bobbi Brown Infrared Palette, then just keep watching. Okay, so this palette is an eight pan palette. It comes with three mattes and five shimmer metallic kind of shades. And you do get a mirror as well, which is super nice because I love when my palettes have mirrors, so I don't have to be juggling a mirror and the palette all in, you know, one hand. Um, and then I also like the mirror goes all the way back so you can hold it like this. I just personally like my palettes like that. It's easier to hold. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the mattes for you. Um, I will say I kind of wish that there was like one more matte in here. That way that there was a better transition between these two shades other than that. I think it's okay. I'm just gonna swatch these for you guys. I do think that they are super pigmented. I mean, they swatch really, really well. So I love that. Don't mind my poorly, poorly, poorly tanned hands today. It, 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 I haven't fixed it yet. It's, it's a problem. I'm gonna swatch these shimmery shades. These ones are really pretty. This color right here looks absolutely gorgeous. I like this one a lot. It definitely looks like it could be a good eyeshadow topper just to kind of throw on over the metallic, but you could also use it on its own to make it pop really nice. And then the last shimmer shade looks like that. So it's super, super pretty. I feel like they are super incredibly pigmented. I feel like that the shimmer shades will hopefully go on really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off and we'll get started on the eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with this shade right here. I believe it's called Stone Cold Hope. I'm reading it right, um, but I'm just gonna take it on a Morphe M535. And I'm basically just gonna lay this down as a transition, kind of just to get everything started. That way the other shadows on top of it blend seamlessly. And I'm just gonna be messy with it and throw it all over in the crease, kind of bringing it onto the lid as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Morphe M441 brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here, I think it's called Red Rock. And I'm going to basically throw this into my crease and slowly build it up so that it's not, you know, too crazy all at once. I'll probably throw this on the outer corner as well since there are only two other matte shades. Um, I mean, you can't do a whole lot.
All right, now I'm gonna go into this Morphe R39 brush and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. I believe it's called Solar Flame. And can I just start working it into my outer corner? Kind of just packing it on with little padding motions. And I'm also just bringing it up to my crease. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a blending brush, the Morphe M441, and I'm just gonna start blending this out so it doesn't look super harsh. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna put this all over my lid. I'm gonna start out with just a dry brush. This is a Sigma E56 brush. I'm hoping it doesn't create a lot of fallout. Okay, so I am gonna have to spray my brush. So I'm just gonna pick a little bit of that up on my brush and spray it with some setting spray. And then I'm gonna go back in with my brush and just place this all over my lid. I'm gonna take a little pencil brush and kind of just go over these harsh edges right here, just to kind of blend everything together. And then I am getting just a little bit of fallout nothing like super bad but there is a little bit of it okay so i think i'm going to take my finger and i'm going to go into this shade right here just to kind of lighten it up a little bit and i'm just going to start doing a small wash of it whoa all right i don't know when that stopped so i just took this shade and i popped it all over my lids with my finger it does create a bit of fallout, but I think that it looks really, really pretty. So um, I just did a really light wash of it and I feel like it just like amped up the metallic shadow a lot. It just looks very shiny and, and pretty. So I really like that. So now I'm just gonna start on my lower lash line and I'm just gonna take this shade right here, the Red Rock, and I'm taking this on a Lexi 141 brush. And I'm just gonna start putting it underneath my lower lash line. I have shimmer everywhere. Yeah, it's just about everywhere at this point. So I would probably say do your eye makeup first before you use that shade. Okay, then I'm gonna take a Morphe M432 and I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm just going to kind of run this along my lash line. And I'm not gonna take it all the way in. I am gonna stop right about there. And then I'm gonna take a blending brush and just kind of buff this out. I'm gonna pick up like, like, one dab like that. So I'm gonna go through, I'm just gonna do a small line across my lash line. And this is the Kat Von D Trooper liner. I'm just doing this mostly because I am gonna put on some falsies. And then I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs highliner in black and I'm gonna use this on my tight line and my water line. Okay, so I'm just going to really quick do my lashes. I'm gonna put on some L'Oreal Voluminous Black, and then I'm gonna use these Lashaholic Insta Lashes. We got these in BoxyCharm, and I absolutely love them. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on off camera, or else we'll be here all day, and I'll be right back. All right, so I just finished off with some Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin, and then the Fenty Beauty a Gloss Bomb Gloss to go on top. I really like this combo, and I think it looks really cute with these eyes. So. Overall, I'm actually super happy with the way this look turned out. I think that the lashes look really nice with it besides my real lashes are being so ridiculous today. So besides that, I think that everything looks really pretty. The one thing that I will say is I would do your eyes first before you do your face makeup or else you're gonna end up like me with glitter all over your face. So um, do I think that this is an everyday palette? No, this is not something that I'm gonna reach for every day to 
you know, just doing mom stuff. Um, but if I was to be going on a date or especially for the holidays, I think that this would be really, really pretty um, to just kind of glam up your look and make it a bit more you know, over the top if you want. But just for an everyday palette, I don't think I can see myself using this. This is definitely more of a glam palette, definitely more of a holiday palette in my opinion. Um, but I definitely see myself getting a lot more uses out of this for the holidays with Thanksgiving and Christmas right around the corner. So I'm super, super happy with the way this look turned out. I think that the shadows blended really well. Um, the shimmers worked really well. Also, again, just with this shade right here, I did experience quite a bit of fallout. Everything else though, I didn't really have any fallout at all. Um, with the one shimmer shade that I used, it had a teeny bit of fallout, but it was nothing too bad. And I was able to wipe it away with a brush. So it really wasn't that big a deal. So yeah guys, that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on the palette down below and if you've picked it up, I want to hear what you think about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time. Bye.